friends hello it is so lovely to see you all i hope you're all good i hope you're well i hope your week's going okay so far guess what finally after what can only be described as months i have a room tour for you friends i know can you believe it a room tour let me say that again uh so excited um i'm absolutely cream crackered so what's today so it's wednesday um, just arrived at um, some apartments in Leeds that I have stayed in previously. Not my kind of all-time favourite apartments, but these are second. Um, I've stayed in here before a few times. Um, so those of you that watch the channel might have seen um, a room tour from these uh, from this apartment previously. I'm waffling on. I do apologise. It's just coming up to. 10 to 4. So this morning I've been over to Chester, the Countess of Chester Hospital, and then um, I'm using Leeds as I usually do when I um, come up north because I love Leeds so much. And um, I'm using Leeds as my base. So tomorrow I am in um, hospital in Liverpool and possibly a hospital in Manchester tomorrow afternoon and then I've got two hospitals in Manchester Friday morning and I'm coming back Saturday so it's all good so I've just checked into these apartments and they are amazing I'm up on the fourth floor you wouldn't believe the amount of luggage I have brought with me mainly because tomorrow night Thursday night will be the FCC Zwift group ride and there was no way I was cancelling that so, I brought the TCR with me. I've got my Elite Suto Indoor Trainer. I've got my Manky Samano. Samano? Shimano um, shoes. Got me riser, front riser block. Got me mat. I've got me uh, blanket over here to kind of lay on the floor. I'm kind of just working out where I'm gonna set it up. There's obviously um, plug sockets there and there as well. But I might have it along here. And then my iPad sitting on here so that I can um, chat to you all and see, see Zwift, um, which would be good, obviously. So exciting stuff, friends, exciting stuff. I'm looking forward to Thursday night's FCC Zwift group ride and if you're watching and you'd like to join just follow me on Zwift I will post up the um, FCC Zwift group rides on the Facebook page and I will also endeavour to do it on the Strava the FCC Strava page as well so if you want to be added to the ride just follow me and I will add you um, yeah they're a lot of fun they're great stuff I really enjoy them um, and the, the chats and the banter are superb. Just riding with such lovely people. Right, friends, let me give you a apartment tour. So, there's the front door. We've got a double door entry here, and who doesn't like that? Uh, so this is the main living space. Look at this. There's my front wheel there. Um, Let's get that focused properly. There we go. How lovely is this? So nice TV on the wall, sofa and a chair, table, lovely rug. There's the kitchen. Got the old cooker and a double hob there. Nice cupboards. I brought some food up with me. So I've got some freezer bits there. Meat free burgers, vegan um, southern fried bites I've got a nut roast I've got some potatoes and some broccoli what else have I got a nice loaf of bread in here I have baked beans some vegetable soup there for Zwift I've got some pouches of rice I need to go to the shops to get a couple more bits but I've got a couple of ripe avocados and then ones that are waiting to um, ripen so that's the kitchen area all very lovely little table here 
dining table that's lovely so that's the living space and here is my bedroom look at that absolutely beautiful I am loving it cannot wait to get into bed tonight so good big wardrobe nice desk there as I say that's where I think I'm going to put my iPad for Zwift so let's move around here and show you the bathroom absolutely fantastic so clean hi friends how are you doing lovely space age tap with a wonky stick to operate your water how fancy and then we've got some molten brown uh, goodies there which are very nice and a Buck Rogers toilet seat oh slow closing Buck Rogers toilet seat what more could you ask for and then um, a lovely big walk-in shower with a massive head so good so friends welcome to the apartment I love it absolutely love it I'm gonna get changed um, go to the loo and then head out into town I'm right in the city centre of Leeds um, which as you know uh, regular viewers will know that I love absolutely love Leeds so I'm gonna go to the loo get changed and then head into town just to get a couple of more couple of more a couple more shopping bits so I want to get some orange juice some gravy granules what else do I need some burger buns um, some yogurt as well um, some Alpro yogurt and I should have brought some granola with me because I've got stacks of granola but I forgot to pack it so I'll get another bag of that anyway friends that's incidental I will see you a bit later on friends hello again so I'm back from the shops but like a tit I completely forgot to get my orange juice which was one of the main reasons why I went but let me show you what I did get so got some strawberries some salad leaves some mango some tetley tea would have got yorkshire tea but it was just way too expensive uh, mushrooms uh, a little veggie pack some dairy free spread some rolls some sweet smoky barbecue vegan pieces cherry tomato some hummus some granola some Alpro vanilla yogurt, some gravy granules, a small bottle of wine, a Malbec, Malbec from Argentina, a beer, and some sweet chili sauce. And I think that is it, friends. Yeah, so I'm just going to decide what I'm going to have for dinner. And I'm also contemplating setting up Swift just to see if it works. So I'm going to do that now um, and then I'll show you if it's up and running or not because I need it up and running for tomorrow night. So let's do this. So good news friends. I've got the TCR set up. Just uh, laid my rug down there and then the mat just to protect the flooring. So that's all cool. There she is, the TCR. Looking nice, very nice. And there is the Mighty Swift. I'm just about to start my um, one of my training programs. Completely missed all of last week's, apart from one. So I need to get on it. So good times. There you are. Right, I'm just gonna get changed and then jump on the bike. Well, this is all very marvelous. Swifting in Leeds, looking like a member of fame. Brilliant. I love it. There's the Zwift in action. Usually I'm looking at it through Apple TV on my big TV. So it's, um, just a bit harder 
to read the text from this distance away on the screen. But it's still so good. I'm so happy that I'm swifting. I'm in Paris. So good, I'm loving it friends, awesome. And I've got my running gear with me as well. So I'm hoping to get a couple of runs in whilst I'm up here. Fantastic. Right, the efforts are gonna ramp up in a minute. This is week five of eight, I think. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, that was absolutely awesome. 24 segments in that um, training program tonight. There was one point halfway through where I thought I was about to give up, but I kept going. I'm so glad I did, it was epic. Really enjoyed it. Right, I'm getting in the shower and then getting some dinner. Friends, I'll see you in a bit. Hey, good morning friends. Welcome back, it's Thursday morning. I don't think it's bright and breezy. I think it's a bit dull and wet slash moist. Um, but it's 20 past eight. I should have picked up the camera. Do you know, I completely forgot to pick up the camera earlier on. So I've had my breakfast, I've, had, I've showered, I've changed. I'm just gonna get my shoes on and then we are heading out the door and heading over to Liverpool. Should be about an hour and a half's drive uh, across the M62 which um, should be fine. And I'm sure there's a part of the M62 that is the highest um, section of motorway in the UK. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure that's, um, I'm sure that's the case. I think um, it goes past or through Saddleworth Moor. Um, right, friends, I hope you're okay. I hope you're all good. I hope you're well. Let's hope Thursday is a cracker. Um, I left my bike set up for Zwift tonight for the FCC ride. I ironed my shirt earlier. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to leave that there ready for tonight, 6.30, FCC group ride. Cannot wait! Should be so good. Um, what did I have for breakfast? Mm, granola, mango, strawberries and uh, dairy free yoghurt. Really nice, vanilla flavour. Right, on that bombshell. Let's get ready to rumble. In the words of Ant and Deck, let's do this. Not let's do this, but let's get ready to rumble. Just had a friend join me for a quick nibble on some toast. <laughs> Hi, so cute. Mrs. Pigeon or Mr. Pigeon. Right, see you later, apartment. Very nice. Let's go. Just checking I've got everything. see the cars just literally down there kind of a courtyard view just arrived in Liverpool oh my days the weather is utterly shit driving across the M62 I was right it's the um, well I was kind of right about the M62 it's the highest motorway in England um, but the weather's atrocious the spray coming off of the lorries on the motorway is um, bloody awful uh, but we're here now just parked up and um, gonna get my coat on and my bag and then head into the hospital so I'll see you in a few minutes or a bit later I hope your Thursdays are going well, you legends. Let's do this. Look, we've got the Italian job of minis. 
three in a row. How cool is that? Right, friends, God knows what's going on with my hair. He's absolutely pissing it down. And um, I swear people, um, when it's raining, uh, people fail to see pedestrians crossing at pedestrian crossings. Two pedestrian crossings coming out of the hospital. Um, drivers just zoomed right past, didn't even see me standing waiting there. Ridiculous! And I read a very interesting um, cycling article in the Hull Daily Mail um, last night, uh, which was, um, let's turn that down, which was um, an article, look, I can't even speak, good grief, an article about cyclists riding to a breast. Um, I mean, the word, the Hull Daily Mail, the word Daily Mail should um, ring out alarm bells for, you know, cycling haters. Um, in general, because that's what the Daily Mail are, the National Daily Mail, and by the looks of it, the Hull Daily Mail are pretty similar. Anyway, I'll tell you more about that article later on. Let's hit the road, because it's where it is. Pants, back along the M62. I've got so much paperwork to do this afternoon. Let's do it. Hey, friends. Good evening. So good to see you again. I can't remember the last time we spoke. <coughs> Excuse me. That's not COVID. Uh, I think it was lunchtime. Anyway, it's just gone half six, Thursday evening. The FCC Zwift group ride has just started. Absolutely amazing group of legends tonight. I had a cunning plan, and I've made use of the ironing board so I can rest my iPads and phone on. So, here are the FCC legends. Such an amazing group tonight. We've got Mr. Costello, David Chapman, Phil Cornwell, Francis Biffin, Brian Burridge. We've got Sir Les, Kevin Rowe, Jim Plummer, Carol Silverwood. Hi Carol, by the way, that's, this is your first FCC Swift group ride. So lovely to have you on, Simon Wise, Lee Kettle, oh my God, Fred Thornbury, so many. So many absolute legends. So lovely to ride with you on these FCCs with group rides. Right, I better crack Seven out. miles in, cracking ride so far, absolutely superb turnout. Thank you all of those that are able to uh, join the ride tonight. Absolutely superb stuff. Hey, good morning friends. It's Friday. Hurrah, happy Friday to you all. I hope you're all well. Good morning. So it's Friday. What is the time? I think it's just coming up to 7.30. It's just gone 7.30, it's 7.36. Um, so I've been up about 15 minutes, just making my breakfast. Just made my tea, hashtag tea for Frosty. And I am just going to um, make my breakfast. So I've got my granola. And I'm going to finish the fruit off. I was going to have beans on toast. I've got that bread left, but I'll have that for lunch when I get back from Manchester. Um, I put the dishwasher on last night. I don't, I've never owned a dishwasher before, and um, I've only got a few things in there, but it was going to be on for over three hours. I was like, this is bloody bonkers. I put it on about 10 30, something like that, and then um, I was watching Question Time on the TV. And I thought, oh, it'll only be on for about half hour, 45 minutes. No, it was going to be on for three hours. So after an hour, I was like, I'm not having this. I stopped it. So I'll put it on again. I kind of paused it. So I'll put it on again when I leave the apartment this morning. But I didn't realise dishwashers were like, went on for so bloody long. Ridiculous. Much quicker to just do it in the sink. Bit of uh, hand washing. You know what I mean. Um, washing up by hand, my God. 
Um, friends, it's so lovely to see you all. <laughs> I better get on with making my breakfast because I've got two hospitals in Manchester to visit today and the weather once again is utterly crap. So driving across the M62, um, it's gonna be rubbish. Right, I'll see you. Hello you good people, so both hospitals in Manchester now done, heading back to Leeds, get in good times, oh it's Friday! Good people, hello, we are back in the apartment, I'm just making my lunch, so I've got some baked beans in there, I've got some toast, that's going down in a minute, and I've got a tea and an orange juice, living the dream I think you'll find. And uh, miraculously, it stopped raining as well. It's like 15 degrees, 15, 16 degrees. So it's really mild on this um, October Friday, October the 30th, um, which is good. There isn't really much of a, a view. Uh, just another building over there. And then there's the, um, those of you that know Leeds, there's the, the light cinema shopping complex just there where I usually park um, if I'm staying down at the other apartments. And there's obviously the head row. Oh, road just there. So we're up on the fourth floor. Anyway, yeah, it's all good friends. How are you all doing? How's your week been? Have you had a good Friday? And by the time you watch this, the weekend would have gone, been and gone even. So I hope you're all I hope you're all good and I hope you're well and safe. I'm just gonna hurry these beans along because I'm bloody starving. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say to you, wasn't I, about the, um, let me put you down, hang on. I was gonna say to you, uh, lovely people yesterday, mention this, I've got a wonky table. This is so wonky, look. Bonkers. Um, I don't know why it's so bloody wonky. Anyway, um, I was going to say to you yesterday um, about these, the article in the Hull Daily Mail. Let's turn this bloody TV down. I'm so sorry. Bear with me. Oh. Nipples on show. Um, <laughs> yeah, the article in the Hull Daily Mail. Uh, all to do with, here we are, let me get the article up. Proposals to change highway code rules on cyclists riding side by side on the road. Um, it's, you know, drivers, it says here, listen to this, I mean, you, have, you, you legends would have heard this time and time again and seen it written in some God awful newspapers. Some drivers are left frustrated at the sight of cyclists riding beside one another, especially when queues of traffic build up behind them. However, cyclists argue it can be much safer for both of them, both them and the motorists, obviously. Now, under plans drawn up at the moment, uh, more and not fewer bikes could end up riding to a breast on our roads. Well, I thought it was. Um, it's not illegal to ride two abreast on the road anyway, now, is it? Um, I've now got to answer a question about dogs to reveal the rest of the article. I mean, this is ridiculous. Oh, my days. God, pathetic. Absolutely, this is advertising on the whole Daily Mail for you. Um, measures, I can't even speak. Holy cow. Measures reported in the Times would put more emphasis on cyclists only moving into single file if they thought it was safe for drivers behind to overtake. Well, this is what I do anyway. And uh, this is what we do in the FCC and every ride, every group ride I've been on um, within the FCC and, um, you know, just riding out with you legends. The current wording is seen by some as giving motorists license to overtake cyclists when they should not. 
Uh, today's wording in Rule 66 of the Highway Code states, you should never ride more than two abreast and ride in single file on narrow or busy roads and when riding round bends. So you should never ride more than two abreast. Yeah, yeah. But you should never be, as a car driver, and I'm a car driver as well, as you know, you should never be overtaking in when it's a dangerous place or situation anyway. I mean, it's common bloody sense. Oh, honestly, I get exasperated by some of this shite. Um, in addition, when groups of cyclists ride together, going side by side means such groups are less strung out along the road, obviously. Um, Cycling UK and uh, British Cycling have called for changes to Rule 66 as part of a consultation on a planned update to the code this year. Duncan Dollymore, Head of Campaigns for Cycling UK, said the current rule is too often misunderstood. Riding two at rest is often safer for cyclists and it's also easier for drivers to safely overtake a group of cyclists riding two abreast than a longer line of cyclists in single file. But this has never really been communicated in the Highway Code. Um, classic paragraph, this is the paragraph I wanted to say to you and um, read out to you. The current Rule 66 causes confusion and conflict on the road, making our roads more dangerous. It leads some people to think it's fine to overtake cyclists on a bend and others that cyclists shouldn't ride to abreast. Well, I'm really sorry, well obviously, but if you're driving a car and you think it's fine to overtake cyclists on a bend, then you're a massive tit and you shouldn't be driving on the road basically. Um, oh, it's just unbelievable. Anyway, friends, I've been prattling on about that subject I do apologize for far longer than I thought I would um, but in essence and at that last paragraph that I just read out you should never as a car driver overtake on a blind bend or on any bend I mean it's just bloody ridiculous common sense anyway friends I'm gonna sort my beans out because there are there are steaming so I need to pop that toast down I'll catch you in a bit Thank you all so much for sitting through that vlog, friends. I applaud you. Welcome. It's lovely to see you all. So I didn't get to um, end the vlog last week. I drove back on Saturday um, from Leeds and it's now Saturday the 7th of November. So I'm going to end the vlog here. But before we do, um, I'm just going to add on a little competition to the end of this vlog. I don't know if you um, remember a couple of weeks ago I did an unboxing of some new Hoka running shoes and a Planet X pod sack roll top rucksack. This very same rucksack friends uh, from Planet X, it's 40 litres, it's brand new, I haven't used it, I literally did the unboxing and it's been hanging up in my bedroom but I'm going to be giving this away to one of you lucky lucky legends. Um, as I say it's 40 litres roll top it's got the suction knob sort of vacuum pack all your contents in there it's it's brilliant it's absolutely fantastic padded shoulder straps padded air vent bit there type thing um all you have to do if you're interested in winning this rucksack is just comment below basically on the vlog um and i will end the giveaway on wednesday next week so that'll be the 12th of november so good luck thank you all so much for watching i hope you're all well i hope you're safe um strange times yet again especially here in the uk but if you manage to get out on your bikes enjoy yourselves and if you're indoors on swift have a fantastic ride i'm hoping to get on swift later i've got my bike set up already i'm just watching everton v man united and uh having a tea hashtag tea for frosty um and hopefully I'll get out later tonight as well for a quick spin outside because um, I haven't been out on the bike for two weeks outside that is. Um, the last time was when uh, myself and Amy did the 80 miler to Windsor and Heathrow which was cracking. Um, anyway friends thank you so much for watching look after yourself stay safe out there I'll see you in a couple of days with another vlog bye for now and good luck.